occasion of the African Nations Championship organized in Cameroon from January 16 to February 7, 2021, the African Union of Broadcasting, AUB, presents the Spotlight. The Spotlight, the very best of Chan 2020. Hello everybody, welcome to another edition of The Spotlight. Today is very unique because we are in the middle of an event. It is the draws for the under 20 African Cup of Nations 2021. On this edition of The Spotlight, we let you in on the event that took place, which is the draws of the under 20 African Cup of Nations, which will take place in Mauritania from February 14th to March 6th, 2021. Equally, we bring you excerpts from football legends in Africa and more. Stay tuned, go nowhere, I'll be right back. Like you heard in the introduction, we are right here at the Hilton Hotel where the draws for the under 20 African Cup of Nations has just taken place. There has been a massive turnout of football legends to witness this occasion. And our team was right here mingling with the stars. And they bring you this report. Yeah, I'm a football person. I've played a little bit in my life. So, uh, Chan, uh, first of all, congratulations also to Cameroon uh, to be the first the nation to uh, kick off a tournament under very difficult conditions. Emphasizing on very difficult conditions, we all, you all know we are in the pandemics, we limited uh, the capacity of uh, the uh, spectator to 25%, and uh, we are watching very, very carefully, because uh, you see, when uh, the fan sees a goal, he jubilates, but we have social distancing. So our eyes are very strictly on it and to see and to make a group assessment how we are going to uh, proceed. But generally, um, um, but I see there, there are still things to, to do better, but all this is a very good test run for the AFCON uh, coming and uh, going to be in Cameroon. One thing I can guarantee you, um, inshallah, if uh, this virus is gone and uh, we can have full uh, capacity uh, in the stadium, all the stadiums will be full because Cameroonians love football. Everybody is happy and uh, I, I don't see the big difference between uh, Chan and Khan. Maybe because of professional player, maybe for quality, but we have a quality and we have a, a, one of the best things that uh, all the population of Cameroon, or art of Cameroon, are very happy to see the challenge. You can see the Mali, you can see the Burkina Faso, Guinea, and all, another team like uh, Zimbabwe going out, but they still play well. And uh, for me, I think that is the best thing, the CAF was doing uh, in, the, in, the, in the competition. We are still here at the Hilton Hotel, as you might have noticed. The African Nations Championship has been going on in Cameroon for some days now, and we are almost drawing to the end, not yet at the end. So we caught up with some football legends at the draws of the under-20 AFCON 2021 at the Hilton Hotel, and they give their views on the general organization of the African Nations Championship, Shan 2020, going on in Cameroon. Take a listen. Cameroon will face host country Mauritania, when the competition opens on Friday 14th. At the draws for this competition, some football legends said Under 20 is a competition that lays the foundation for professional football on the continent. Under 20, you already have players as well who are, are, have already professional contracts, but is a very good stepping stone to really uh, get better contracts, get better deals, as we say, and we take uh, those tournaments uh, very, very serious. A lot of great players uh, came out of the under 20 and uh, we are continuing to support them very, very well. Cameroonian icons Emmanuel Maboang, who assisted CAF officials in conducting the draws, say there is a lot of hope in under 20 championship. As you know, a long time ago, you see most of the players of national team arrive, sometimes junior, sometimes not. You just see them on top of the national team. Now with the under 20, it's like warming hope. 
For Mauritania, it is an honor to receive the continent for such a prestigious event. The Afghan U20 remains a special competition because many players reveal themselves. We are also hoping that the future great stars of African football will be revealed in Mauritania. Why not? We are also hoping to take up the challenge posed by us hosting the competition because Mauritania does not have that experience, unlike Cameroon or other countries. It is the first time that we will be organizing an event like this and we hope everything will go well. As Anthony Bafu indicates, no hosting of a major event can happen without some challenges. With a good group, uh, there are always hitches in every tournament, even at the World Cups, which you will not see, which will not be visible. But we pay attention to details so uh, these things, they fall into our eyes. We have our full support and we are ready uh, for the combat on and off the pitch. Twelve teams are to participate at this 16th edition of the tournament with Mauritania, Cameroon, Uganda and Mozambique in Group A, Burkina Faso, Tunisia, Namibia and Central African Republic in Group B, and in Group C, Ghana, Tanzania, Gambia and Morocco. If you're watching the spotlight, we are in the country of the indomitable lions, Cameroon. Here, football is like a religion. A lot of people love it and they find passion in it. Now, let's take you downtown where we tell you more about this football as a passion. The love and passion for football in Cameroon is indeed enormous. Be it professional or local, the game attracts both the young and the old. Women, too, have demonstrated unquestionable affinity for the game. A drive through the different localities of Yaoundi in the early hours of the day, or be it at the later hours, one would find guys and kids as young as 10 years playing the game along streets and other unused pieces of land. Everyone seems a key stakeholder, as anywhere could become a pitch, and any time, football time. Quizzed on the motivation for this very strong passion, which has actually been described as a religion. Some Cameroonians say a variety of reasons account for this. Cameroon is a football nation. There are several great players in Cameroon. That is why Cameroon must love football. Every Cameroonian must love football because we have great personalities like Samuel Eto and Roger Mila. Football helps Cameroonians greatly. Many families live very well because of football. They have children who play football. Cameroon's love for football started since about the year 2000, when Cameroonians were in Sydney. They gave us a reason to love football 
by going for the competition, reaching the semi-finals and even the finals, if my memory does not fail me, that gave us a desire to love football. Football occupies a very important place. Young people love playing football in Cameroon and also aspire to become a Samuel Eto someday in future. The craving for the game is high, such that parents actually invest time and money with the hope that their kids make a career in football. At the moment, my children love playing football. They are doing their best. I support them because each time they say the coach wants something, I do my utmost best to provide it. I love football. Football helps in good health. In proper digestion and keeps us away from sickness. I think football actually brings people together where apart from watching the football many people tend to discuss a lot of other things and also I think that during the process of watching the football you are as well released from stress you I don't know and it's also some kind of some people get skills from it like people who aspire to be footballers in future by watching the football they do gain skills and knowledge to maybe better it in future if they want to engage in it professionally this supporter of the Indomitable Lions of Cameroon says he himself was a footballer. He switched to other things when he couldn't get a sponsor. Number nine. I was number nine. I played with Mfombo Junior. I also played in Bafusam. I couldn't go further because I had other issues. This is what slowed down my football career. It's like my Street football too has gained more hearts. Here at one of the fan zones which has been set up in the city, lovers of the game are into full action, even when the time was already 9 p.m. Spotlight has been brought to you by the AUB. On the occasion of the African Nations Championship organized in Cameroon from January 16 to February 7, 2021, the African Union of Broadcasting, AUB, presents the Spotlight. The Spotlight, the very best of Channel 2020. Football is a sport of socialization. No wonder a lot of people find passion in it. It easily brings people together and makes them laugh and enjoy themselves. Thank you very much for watching this very exciting edition of the Spotlight. See you next time. Bye.